Today, I'm going to show you guys how to program an RSI trading robot on MQL4 or MetaTrader 4. And for example, guys, before I start into the programming, basically, I'm going to show when the value of the RSI hits above 70 or greater or equal to. It'll enter a sell order, and if it goes below 30, like this period right here, I do a buy order. The code will be in the description or in the comments below, so please check for the pinned comment, and let's begin. First off, guys, open up your MetaTrader, and then hit MetaQuotes, which is F4. I'll bring you up your trader, like uh, your Meta Editor. First, hit New, and then go to Expert Advisor. For, and the thing we need to do is type an RSI Trader. Now, I will be incorporating a buy and sell into this right here. Now, to make it very simple, guys, we open it up and go to the on tick. Make it a little bit bigger for you guys right here. The first thing we need to do is or incorporate a R RSI. Now, to break it down, very uh, easy, very simple, guys, is first we need to do the double. That will give us our digits. Then, you know, basically, be, instead of being a whole number, we'll have digits at the end. So, double our code, the name of the uh, trait, the name of the indicator be RSI equals. Now, this code is going to read as a pre basically pre run code for uh, MetaTrader. All you have to do is hit F, uh, type in IRSI. And if you want more details about it, just uh, select it, hit F1, and it gives you some more details about it, like MQLL for uh, reference. But other than that, guys, make a comma. Oh, I'm sorry, a parentheses, hit null. Now null is going to make it work on all currency pairs. Zero, if this is our time period, basically it's default. Whatever the currency pair you put it on there, it's going to work for the default. Our period is 14. Now, if you guys want it to apply to a different closeout, I use on the current, I use close. But if you guys want to use something different uh, for the apply price, all you got to do is hit this E number right here. So if you want zero, hit close. Open for one, two high. A uh, uh, price for low, the medium. You guys can do all that. I'm, for this video, I'm going to use zero, and it's going to affect on the current candle. Okay, so let's look at this right here. Our next thing is we got to make sure we have our bull statement to indicate once it hit these values, then we're going to be uh, entering our trade. Okay, so we got our bull statements. So if if the RSI is less than or equal to 30, we're enter our buy order. And if the RSI hits greater than uh, 70 or equal to, then we'll enter our trade. Now we'll enter our, first we're going to uh, type in the buy order right here. So this if statement, it reads, if the RSI, uh, RSI buy right here, this bull statement, equals true and orders total equals zero, then we should uh, enter our, our buy order. <clears throat> our buy order is buy order, uh, order send. We're going to run it on null, meaning all currency pairs. OP buy, what that means is going to be uh, instant execution buy. Our lot size is 0 0.01. It's going to enter on the ask price and our slippage, basically, so it doesn't go too far from that order, is 10. Now, our stop loss is going to be minus 100 pips. So it's the ask minus 1.0, 0. And our target profit is going to be the ask plus 0.01. Our comment, make sure you put it uh, for this example, uh, question marks, uh, zero question marks. And our for this one right here, guys, is our magic number. Just put one, two, three, four, five, six. And right here is our pending order. We're not going to need that. So hit zero. And our order's going to be clear orange, okay? Now, when this trade goes through, we hit print. Trade took place. You guys can put anything else you want to. Now, let's get to the sell portion, okay? Now, the sell portion is very similar. We're going to say uh, RSI uh, sell. We're going to go to our, our bull steamer right here. If it's true, then enter the trade. Now, we're also going to do INT sell order. Uh, sell order right here. And it's going to be no OP sell. So if it goes in, it's going to be uh, our sell order uh, and its execution. Basically, our slippage and everything is the same. But remember, our stop loss, if you hit a like this. Our stop loss is going to be the bid plus 100, and our target prop is going to be bid and buy, so a little bit just opposite, okay? Our magic number is going to be a little bit different since the sell order. Now, you guys can make your magic numbers the same. I, when it comes to me, when it comes to buy, uh, buy orders and sell orders, I make them different so I can help find that order a little bit easier when programming. Now, all we got to do is hit compile, guys, and our 
our, uh, we have no errors. So let's test this out on pound yen, okay? All right, we have pound yen. This is called RSI, let's see, RSI Trader. RSI Trader, let's see. Right here, RSI Trader, we're gonna do it, let's see on the, yeah, the one hour is fine. Actually, let's do four hour. So we're on four hour, we're gonna hit start, let's see how it goes. And the trade hasn't started yet because of uh, this is on pause, basically. But what we need to do is get the RSI out on a period 14 so we can visually see what's happening, okay? Now, once this is running, basically, we'll be able to see when it enters the buy or sell. And they can't overlap. You can't have a buy and sell because of the orders total. And once that takes place, we can actually indicate off of here where that order went through, okay? So... We done with that right here. We can see that if we uh, hit pause, zoom out a little bit right here. Okay, we can see that if our now we entered our see we entered our buy order right here. Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. And if you guys want to ever change the color or how it looks, okay, all you need to do is this: hit F8, go through here. You can scan through the properties, change it, and we do candlesticks. We can see that our order, and we slide this back a little bit, initiate it because our RSI hit 30 or below, and now we're in our buy. You can see the stop loss right here. Let me zoom out a little bit. So if we let it run again, we'll see if it hits the target profit or, or our stop loss. So we hit our stop loss, and you can see that, I'm sorry, we hit our target profit. And you can see that it did profit off this trade. And if we give above 70, we'll enter our stop loss. Let's try it again. I mean, sorry, enter our sell trade, not stop loss. And let's see. So we got stopped out in that trade, 100 for 100. And it kept on entering again. Now, there's other ways to prevent it and delay ending multiple trades. But this is a very basic video showing you how to use the RSI when it hits certain values and how to enter that trade. Now, it's not saying this is a winning strategy or a losing strategy, just to show you this, how to create the strategy. And if you want to build upon that, you can. I'll put the code in the description box or a comment, I'll pin it. And uh, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. This channel is about trading, investing, programming, uh, basically all things I like to do. <laughs> so if you have any questions, comments, guys, drop it below. But I'll see you guys on the next video.